Hello there. This is MD here with you. On everything PS. In this video, I am gonna talk about what's new in Adobe Premiere Pro. Feature summary. Premiere Pro. October 2021 release. New and refined workflows in Premiere Pro 22.0 let you stay in the moment as you shape your video stories, including improvements to speech to text, new simplify sequence, color management for H264 and HEVC formats, improvements to the Lumetri color tools, and new hardware accelerated playback for demanding 10-bit 4,2,2 HEVC footage. Unified version numbers With this release, the Adobe Video and Audio applications are aligning on version number 22.0. Major versions offer forward and backward interoperability between the Adobe applications for functions such as Dynamic Link, so that users with any 22.x version can work with any other 22.x consistent version numbering will simplify updating and collaboration speech-to-text improvements from transcription through final export speech-to-text in premiere pro is the industry's only fully integrated and automated workflow for creating and customizing captions speech-to-text improvements in this release include speech-to-text improvements builds on the industry's only fully integrated and automated workflow for adding and customizing captions, improved transcription accuracy for pop culture terminology, and better formatting of dates, and numbers, new option to export captions as sidecar files only. Simplify sequence. Create a clean copy of the current sequence for sharing with other editors. Archiving or exporting as EDL, XML, or AF. When your timeline is cluttered, Simplify Sequence allows you to remove empty tracks, disable clips with specific labels, and remove markers, or other user-specified elements. Color management for H264 and HEVC. With new color management for H264 and HEVC formats, Premiere Pro interprets the correct color space when importing these formats, including 10 bit and HDR files for exports. Premiere Pro includes the correct color space metadata with your output files, ensuring that your colors will display correctly on the destination platform. When creating new sequences, you can choose to match source or apply the color space you want to use, depending on your working media. Improved playback for 10-bit HEVC New hardware accelerated decoding for 10-bit 4,2,2 HEVC files provide improved playback and smoother editing with supported hardware, including M1 Macs and Windows Intel machines. Improved playback for 10-bit H264 on M1 Max. New hardware accelerated decoding for 10-bit 4,2,2 H264 provides an improved editing experience on M1 Max. Color management for Sony XAVC-LHDR. 
New support for Sony XAVC HDR gives broadcasters and production teams another option for working with HDR content, taking up less server and storage space than XAVC Intra. Colorized Vector Scope. The new colorized vector scope provides a much richer representation of the color components in your image. It makes it easier to see how the colors change. As you apply grading adjustments, double click the new vector scope for 2x zoom to make precision adjustments. For example, for white balance or skin tones, a new skin tone line in the vector scope provides a helpful reference as you fine-tune your color grade. Improved Histogram The improved histogram presents a brighter and crisper display for a more accurate analysis of your color distribution. Like the other Lumetri scopes, the histogram supports both SDR and HDR content. Lumetri Curve Refinements Lumetri curve refinements make adjustments more efficient, with a more spacious rectangular window, and easier selection of adjustment points on Luma and RGB curves. Restore Trim Selection You can now reset edit points that are accidentally unselected. This handy option saves you from manually reassembling a complicated group of edit points on the timeline just because you clicked in the wrong place. Improved Media Relinking for Team Projects It is now easier to relink media in team projects. You can now follow the same relink workflow in team projects. As you do in standalone Premiere Pro, Team Projects generates the necessary media mapping for you. Just as if you were to directly use the Media Management dialog and keeps track of your local media and the shared team projects file. Improved bars and tone. The bars and tone generator in Premiere Pro can now create test patterns for both HDR, high dynamic range, and traditional SDR, standard dynamic range. The audio parameters are now combined into one consolidated dialog. By default, 
the color space, and other technical details like resolution and frame rate will be set to match the currently active sequence. You can specify these parameters yourself or use one of the presets, such as UHD, Rec.2100, HLG, use bars to check the calibration of your display, or for troubleshooting, or include bars, and tone, as part of content delivery requirements to ensure image, and audio fidelity. New GPU acceleration for effects. Four more effects in Premiere Pro are now GPU accelerated. Alpha Glow, Mirror, Reduce Interlace Flicker, and Strobe now performs significantly better during playback performance and render faster for exports. With the addition of these four, a total of 69 effects and transitions are now GPU accelerated in Premiere Pro. Now in Premiere Pro, Beta, Remix. Powered by Adobe Sensei, use Remix to intelligently rearrange songs so that your music matches your videos, instead of painstaking razor cuts and crossfades. Let Remix do the work for you, turning hours long music editing chores into a task that takes minutes. Powered by Adobe Sensei, Remix is a proven technology from Adobe Audition, where it has had rave reviews. And now Remix is coming to Premiere Pro. To use Remix in Premiere Pro, Beta, apply the new clip tool to sections of audio. Remix analyzes the patterns and dynamics in songs to create new arrangements that match the duration you need with controls for timbral versus harmonic changes and edit length. You can create almost infinite song versions. Auto Tone Auto Tone uses new technology to apply intelligent color corrections. In the Lumetri color panel, Auto Tone adjustments are reflected in the Lumetri sliders so that you can fine-tune the results or simply use auto-tone to guide your color work as you become familiar with the Lumetri tools. When it is released, auto-tone will replace the current auto-adjustment button, providing more sophisticated color correction with better results. With a single click, try auto-tone in the Premiere Pro Beta Speech-to-Text on Device Speech-to-text on device allows editors and creators to use speech-to-text transcription without an internet connection and provides faster transcriptions to test on device speech-to-text in the Premiere Pro Beta. You need to opt in to download the 650 MB language pack. Initially, the language pack will be English only after the initial download. The language pack updates whenever you update your beta build. You also have the option to turn off on device transcription. Improvements for new import mode. Improvements to the new import mode include sorting options, marquee selection for choosing media, keyboard navigation, a playhead for scrubbing thumbnails, the ability to copy files on import, and the option to import both clips and whole folders. You can also specify bins, folders to import files into. The project name is now located at the top of the import panel, providing a clear starting point for new projects. Enter a project name right in the title bar and press return or enter to create a new project. From there, you can continue in the new import mode to select files 
and folders for the project or move straight to edit mode and assemble your assets using the existing media browser workflow. Here we go. Finally, we are done for today. MDE was with you here on everything PS.